snow on too. I've got the snow stick ready and I've got this little fun thing that goes from two inches all the way. Hey, Tim Buckley, it goes to 15 inches. Wow. What do you think about that? <laughs> uh, it's a very nifty tool. I hope Is we don't it? need any more. Yeah, that, oh my, that. more than 15 no, inches. No, I, I don't. I hope not. <laughs> See, I hope not. You know, <laughs> whenever too. there's like a, a, a snowstorm, uh, in, an impending snowstorm, yeah. everybody right. wants to know how much snow is there going to be. Right. Well, sure. With this type of storm, Tim, I know that it's kind of difficult because the rain <laughs> to snow ratio can play a pretty, pretty big role in that. Yeah, they're all difficult. And the thing I say about snow forecasting is we need to get everything right, everything else right. How much water is available, how much right. cold air there is, what's the track? We need to get all of that correct before we can hope to get the snow total correct. So it's a big challenge for us and we like challenges, don't we? Here's a little illustration for you. If there's one inch of water available, think about like a one inch rain. We had this many times in the fall where people would say, Tim, how much snow would this be? When it rains this much, how much snow would it be? Well, in general, one inch of rainfall equals about 10 inches of snow. And if colder temperatures than that, like if you're way up north and they have snowfall in the teens, it can be even 20 inches for every one inch of rainfall. Now, in this guy, in this actual scenario that we're expecting this weekend, I think we actually could see lower uh, ratios than that. But some computer models are telling me, Tim, maybe not just one inch of rain is on the way, maybe two. So we could be looking at some impressive totals. Let's talk a little bit about the overall storm setup that we're looking at for this week. And I've mentioned this many times. I think there's two areas of low pressure with this one, one closer to the coast that allows that snow to be possible. Another one farther inland that should make it a possibility too that a little bit of sleep mixes in from time to time. And if you get any sleep mixing in, that's when those numbers I just showed you, they can shrink really fast because if you get a little bit of sleep mixing in with that snow, it compacts it quite a bit and it doesn't take as much space. So it's not standing up as tall and it's not as fun to play in either. Here are the likely areas though for snow or sleet accumulation this week. And I think we all have a very good chance. I'll put that out there first, but practically a guarantee you are going to be shoveling something in this purple area from Reidsville, Caswell County to Winston Salem, all the way over to the foothills and up to the mountains as well. Burlington, Greensboro, High Point, Lexington, Nashboro. You probably need the shovel too. I'm just keeping you in the likely category for right now. Farther south than that, it is a little bit more uncertain because you should have more mixing with the precipitations. But my main message for today, this is not just a, oh, hey, we're going to get some snow this weekend. It really could be a significant or even major winter weather event for the Piedmont. Even though it's this early in the season, I do think that there's potential for totals that we're going to say, holy cow, could you imagine that, that this happened in early December? So bottom line, the timing, Saturday p.m. through Monday, a shovelable snow is pretty likely, at least, 